Hi, hey, we are ready to do some illustrations. Today we are going to draw a pig and a wolf. So, first of all, we need to separate our paper into half. And we will put the pig on this side and we will put the wolf on the right side. Okay? Let's see. Let's start with the pig first. Alright? So, with the pig, we will start with just a little square. Okay? And we're going to do something silly to this square. We're going to take and make a, another square around it that's bigger. But it's got to start in the middle of the back line right here and go out as far as you want it because this is going to be the body of the pig. And then come down as fat as you want your pig to be. Come back, but come right up under the middle of that part of your first square. There. So it's kind of like the square is partially inside that other square. Okay? So now, <clears throat> we need some silly ears. Pigs have silly ears. They're called, their ears almost look like trapezoids. So we will start right here and we'll come straight out, down, and then we're going to angle up a little bit towards the the first square that we did. It won't be straight, it's going to angle up. And that makes him look like he's got a floppy ear. And of course he's got to have one on the other side too. So I will bring it straight out, down, and flop it back up again. There. <clears throat> of course we have to have a funny little snout nose on the pig. So that's going to go right here, and we will make it a little square, but <clears throat> since it has to go over the first square and the other square, I'm going to take and erase those lines that I made before, and that's okay. There, now he has a snout, and I'll put two little lines in it for his nose holes. He's got to be able to breathe. There. See, so sometimes we have to erase lines that we've made before. Okay. We need to give him some eyes. And again, I will wait with putting where he is looking until I'm done. But there, that's where I'm going to have his eyes. Right. He needs some legs. So we're going to start with his back leg first. I'm going to make a long rectangle, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to start and make another rectangle right behind it. So this looks like the leg that I can see, and this looks like the leg that's behind there. Now, <clears throat> pigs have hooves that have two parts to it like a horse that it's just all rounded, a pig has two parts to his toe. So what we are going to do is we're going to make a W, a sideways W on the bottom of the foot. And that makes it look like he's got two parts to his hoof. Now on the back one we can't see both of them, so we're just going to put a V back there. There, because we can't see the other part of his hoof. Uh, I think my pig is going to tip over if I don't give him some front legs. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky because we're going to go just, we're going to do this again in the front. But I'm going to start back a ways and make the long front leg that I can see. And see how I didn't come to the end right here? I'm going to make the leg that's behind come to there, 
Okay, very tricky. You can't put this. This one I was able to put on the back and touch the back of my big square, but this one I was not. Okay? That one took me some practice. I had to work on that for a while. Okay, and then our W and our V, not RV. I'm having a pair of them. There we go. Okay. All right, that looks like a pig. Oh, but we have to give him his special tail. He has to have a squiggly little tail. So just give him some little curl cues in his tail. There. Again, I'm not going to say where he's looking yet because I haven't decided. All right. All right. Now let's go draw that wolf. Oh, my goodness, a wolf. Okay. Again, we will start with, this time, a big rectangle. I want my rec my wolf to be kind of big. This is going to be his body and his head. Okay. He's going to have, of course, pointy ears. So I'm just going to put an upside down V up there on both sides. All right. Now I'm going to start back on this side of the first rectangle and I'm going to go all the way across and come out and go back down and go up because a wolf has a very big nose and I'm going to take that part out and I'm going to give him a black blob at this end because he can smell very well. Okay. And I will give him, I'm going to put him, ooh, you know what, I'm going to wait with his mouth. Okay. Now I need to give this guy some legs. Okay, here we go. We are going to put a rectangle right there and a rectangle over here. We are going to put a little wider rectangle on that side and one on this side. And then I'm going to take those two little lines out and put some claws in here. And there are his back feet. And then I'm going to put two rectangles right here in the middle, right over my bottom line. And then I'm going to take those lines out of there. And I'm going to give them some toes there too. There. Now, see he's sitting down and there are his front feet right there. needs a tail. And of course, wolves have big tails. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put my tail on this side. I'm going to put a little square right there, off to the side. And then I'm going to make as big a rectangle as I want to. Well, looks almost like a backwards L, doesn't it? I'm going to take that little line out of there. Oops, I lost part of my... And then I'm going to put a little V there, and I'll take that one out. So now his tail is going out to the side. Ooh. And we need some big eyes because, oh my, what big eyes you have. All right, 
Now I'm ready to put in the face. I definitely think I want my wolf looking at my pig. Don't you? And I think I want him to be happy because he's excited. He's going to have supper. So I'm going to put... Eyes looking that way. I'm going to put my eyebrows up, not down. And I'm going to give him a big smile right here. I may even put his tongue out. There. Mm, he's licking his lips. Okay. So now, let's go back to our pig. And, of course, our pig is going to look a little nervous, I would say. I think I will have my pig look back this way. And I think I'm going to make him just a little bit worried. I'm, I can't see his mouth because his mouth is underneath, un, underneath his snout there. Does he look worried? I think so. All right. <clears throat> and of course, since I'm just doing this for you, to to learn how to draw, don't forget to hide your diamond somewhere inside the pig or the wolf. And you know what? If you draw more of each animal, I don't care how, how you add details to your picture, but just hide the diamond in a character, okay? Like, don't draw a tree or something and hide it. Friday.